folks. Good afternoon. We're out here at beautiful Summit Point. We're doing a follow-up on our uh, build series out here, and we're going to check on the progress of our of our build that we've been tracking and following. So uh, let's go head on over to the site and see what's going on. And uh, let me give you a quick uh, weather check. This morning it was absolutely beautiful. The sun was out, but uh, it looks like the uh, the rain's starting to starting to set in here. It's uh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. changes here so fast in the Philippines. It's amazing tropical weather. It's still a beautiful day. We got a nice breeze. I hope the, the wind's not blowing the sound mic out. But let's head on over to the building and check out what's going on. Well the first thing you notice when you you, when you pull up on the build site is you can see how much they've got completed they're all the way up to the uh, to the second floor actually they've got the uh, the roof truss are being set in place right now which is really really cool man they've gone up uh, the man they've made a lot of progress on this building the, all the concrete hollow block is up to the uh, to the roof joints and it, I can see I, they had the pump going a little while uh, the cement pump going on a little while ago with the mixer and uh, Right now they shut it off, but like I said, the first thing you notice is how much work they've done, how tall the building is. They've gone up with that with all the concrete hollow block, and I can see that they're actually scoring the surface on some of the uh, some of the columns. You can see all the tie beams have been all been formed. They all been poured, um, except for that front section over here on the very front of the house. But that's not a, really a load bearing structure, so I don't think it's really going to make that much difference as far as uh, holding up the build. Let's head on inside and see what the guys got going. But they got a full crew working. And like I said, the rain's held off long enough because we've been fighting on our build. So these guys are really, really making some progress here. They're putting the scaffolding in place right now to, get, to continue to go up, continue to do the work and score on those columns. See the floor here. Last time we were here, they were working on the stairwell. You can see the uh, roof struts or material for the roof struts are there, and you can see the actual staircase has been completely poured. Stairs are in place now, which is good. You can see that they're actually putting the uh, PVC pipe in for the uh, conduit. And let's go check out the back, see what they got going on over there. They actually got the plaster done in this entryway, entryway right here. And the guys are, are chipping away on it right now. You can see that they freshly laid conduit over there. And you can tell that they're actually actually chipping, chipping areas to make room for that conduit there in this particular spot. One of the workers here is actually actually knocking that stuff out so they can, put that, they can bring that uh, conduit uh, from the walls down out uh, along the floors. Let's head on back over here, see what they got going on. Go check out this front living room. I'm standing right now where the where the kitchen's going to be, and you can see where again where they've knocked out the the uh, spots for the conduit you can see the drain pipe hole down there at the bottom you can check out the roof the builder really likes these concrete forms that they that they lay down in place they're fast they're clean looking and they do a nice job I'm gonna get that put on my build over there in Lipa City but you can see all the uh, all the tie beams and the columns. They all have scoring on them right now. So that means they're getting ready to plaster those up. Let's head on up to the second floor and see what's going on. You 
take a look as soon as you come up the first thing you notice is the uh, struts in place for the roof to support that roof that goes on there they've got quite a bit of it done I wish my bill was this far off can't wait till it gets there though you can see here's the view from the second floor looking out over the uh, over the fairway actually over here looks like they got a one of the greens is right here which is nice really nice got a beautiful view I really like it out here at Summer Point it's a nice place and they're still doing more and more scoring in as we come in here you can see here one of the rooms here with all the scoring they've got this completed and they've got the roof structures already in place here I'm gonna get you a drone shot to see what the uh, the rest of that building looks like so we can go ahead and, uh, and get a view from the from the sky looking down to show you some of the progress on the roof struts got our builder in the background laying tape Measuring, measuring the depth of the walls over here. Looks like they're squaring up some of the windows. Plastering's already gone, at least the first coat of plastering's already gone in. So how's the build progressing, Dave? We're getting there, as long as the rain keeps up, we should be all right. Setting up for the roof at the moment, so uh, I want to order the roof truck, uh, the roof sheet in this, this week. And we're getting the plastering for the windows done, so I can order the windows as well. It takes two months to get the windows, the better quality ones. So, what's it? What's it going with uh, here as far as windows go, Dave? The uh, powder coated aluminium. Same for your place. Same for Ainsley. Same for mine at the Yellow Green Club. Same quality. Good, good quality. Yeah, we're gonna come out. Uh, they good. They'll be very good. So we're setting up the windows as soon as possible. Two months to order those, so they'll be ready for January. Where are you getting it from? Uh, Alabang. Okay. Yeah. Gonna order from one of the local shops that I have going for you and bring it out. Yeah. Good deal. All right, Dave. We'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Thank very much. Okay. No problem. Anything you want to add? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let's well. hope for a favorable outcome at the election next month. <laughs> well, it depends on what side you're on, exactly. there, Dave. Dave's a real character. Dave is really, really a character. We go back and forth on the on the Biden Trump all the time. He likes to rib both uh, me and uh, Ainsley a lot about the uh, about the election here. Him being from from the other continent. I'm not going to mention any country names, but uh, it's not the U.S. <laughs> yeah, I guess the accent gives it away. So let's go upstairs and uh, see if we can get you a shot with that drone. All right, folks, I'll be getting back to you in a little bit, but let's head on downstairs and I'll hook that drone up and see if we can get some good coverage. You can see these guys are, before I go, you can see these guys are having to work really hard. I mean, the mixers, uh, give them a fresh batch of cement and then they're actually having to pull it up. That's the plaster that they're working on for the uh, for the different uh, columns and, and walls that are up here on the second floor. And they're doing the same downstairs as well. It's down here, it takes a, a lot of work to get these uh, houses where they're at now. Well, let's head on outside, see what's going on.